Every time we come to the shops, we bring, well, sometimes the monkeys with, but then we just visit people, they're right here at the doggy parlor. We just stand and chat away. And look at that. They are coming in for a groom. Okay, so sometimes you have to clean up after the tigers as well. And there's not much that you need to clean up. This is probably for the whole week. So, and they do their business on one end of the place. They don't do it all over like a dog. <laughs> so it makes it much easier to clean up. And it's really not a difficult job. That's it. And I'm just going to throw it in there because that thing is going to get thrown away as well. And yeah, quite easy. It's not a mess at all. So yeah, if you are planning on getting a tiger, well, that's one thing that I can tell you that's not, well, the worst cleaning up. But I still won't suggest it. Rather just get a dog or a cat. Well, this cycad is absolutely huge. Just check it out. This is right here in the tiger's enclosure. And yeah, look at that. Something that you don't see every day. But these take quite some time to grow. But I've had it in here for at least, I'd say, 10 to 12 years. And that's the only height that it grew so far so if you see one of these well that high then you know it's been around for well probably hundreds of years so yeah this one only about 12 yeah i don't think it's older than that about 12 years old maybe let's make it 15 but that's it Okay, so they're all just getting some cookies and then I am going to open up for the dogs to run to the other side. We're cleaning up there and they can quickly take a run there. But I have to put these two on the one side now these days. These two little brothers are getting in trouble with Bino and they're getting a little aggravated. Now they've always gotten along but recently they've been fighting and Zach has got an ear that is a little bleeding and I decided <laughs> I'm either going to put them aside before I open up for them but I'm going to give them cookies as well look at them they just that's what they look like when they want cookies but I'm first going to let them run there they go Diego wants to run with <laughs> Diego they're all just going there Come here, cookies, cookies. All right, let's see that. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it down because I'm running out of hands. Wants to take it straight like that. Okay, we're just quickly going to put some chlorine in the pool again, scoop out the leaves, pick up here and there, just clean up just an half an hour and we'll be done. But the boys, well, they will have to just find something to do. Daisy! She didn't get a cookie. Daisy! <laughs> Enzo will just have to wait a little because we'll be opening up for them in a few minutes. Well, Enzo, take a nap or something. We'll be done soon. And Arthur is ready to come back. He wants to come back now. <laughs> and he's going to chase a cat up the stairs. And once he's got the cat, he's going to do nothing. <laughs> come here. Come, come. Pulling them all back. Let's get them back that side. Oh, 
that was a nice run for them. They always enjoy it. Cats just have to hide out here for a second. And the two dogs upstairs, they are spending a half an hour upstairs. And the tigers have to spend a few minutes in here as well. But they had a quick run that they enjoyed. And now I can let them all come back. Sometimes you shouldn't call them. Because if you call them, they just run faster to the other side. But if you just leave it for a second, they're coming back. And they'll all come back at once. Except now. <laughs> come Jack. Oh, he's got the catnip. Let me just take that. Okay. Now let me get them through. <laughs> he's not ready yet. Okay, now he's ready. Come. Okay, now he's ready. <laughs> Tigers are ready to go back. Enzo! Enzo, okay, so. This looks just like a little tiger. <laughs> smelling like cat. Enzo. Diego, what's this? A little tiger mouse smelling like catnip. Another tiger whisker. Not a very long one, but it's a tiger whisker. There is another one right there, and there is another one right there. Now we're done. No, there is another one right there. Small little one. Okay, opening up for the tigers. There they go. Gotta lock the gate first. Enzo, right to the pool. And Diego, he's checking for new stuff. That's about it. I don't think they're going to do much. He's just drinking some water and ends is going for a swim. They do enjoy a little swim every day. Usually they don't really took a swim in the summer. But since they are fully grown, I've seen they enjoy swimming in the summer more. They used to swim during the winter. They didn't. Well, they avoided the water quite a bit this year. And it wasn't that cold. So I think they tend to change their behavior as they are growing older. Yeah, these tigers, you just can't figure them out. They are not just something that does whatever they do every time exactly the same they change their minds constantly and I guess it's because of the temperature difference during summer and winter but yeah there is no way of pinpointing exactly what they like and what they don't like they just carry on doing things that they like to do well, I gave vegetarian cat some pellets, but I put it next to the meat and he didn't want to eat it. And then only I realized I'll never do it again. But now at least he came back to eat it. Some clean water and I just gave the tigers a little snack as well. Some more, well, of the shavings that I always give them. They love it. That's what you're basically seeing there. And um, yeah, because Enzo, he was a little ill after he ate those chickens. And uh, he did vomit. But yeah, he's feeling much better. So I felt sorry for him. And I just fed him again. And uh, since Diego is there as well, well, he eats with. 
But yeah, this dog just came out and he just wants to stay with me all the time. He does not want to go back. And so he's a little in the way with Mother Cat, but he's okay. I'm going to take him back upstairs now. Let you see the tigers quickly. I switched off the light there. All these cats are running around. Yeah, those bowls are empty already. I didn't put my light on on my camera. But yeah, they ate and they're done. Well, let me get back up. I can hear Enzo shuffling. He's feeling very happy now. And maybe now he will be able to sleep a bit better. Because if he's a little hungry, he screams. And uh, yeah... It's a loud scream. People can hear it miles away. Sharky is not looking that good. I don't know. He is just a little... Maybe he's just missing Christy. But I don't think that is it. I did check his gums. It is a little paler than the other dog's gums. But he's not ill. Like really ill. And I have to say, the color of his urine wasn't as yellow as it was a few minutes ago. So, and he did just drink water, and he's looking good. But he's not the kind of dog you just load into the car and take him to the vet. Because that's what I wanted to do, but then I just picture it. It's not going to be the right decision at all. So, let me rather let him go back. He's doing okay. If anything happens makes him look worse I will definitely do something immediately well I hope he is doing perfectly fine just look at the size she's not small at all <laughs> this cycad has been pushing these leaves out every day well I guess well about that much a day so it's quite quick for a tree that grows so slow leaves that grow so fast can you believe it let's see where is Diego Diego there's Enzo I don't know where's Diego he was here a minute ago just coming to say hi quickly that's a nice hello Enzo well, got to go, got some things to do, but I'll keep you guys updated on Sharky. I'm going to watch him, and if he gets, well, any worse, I will make a plan to get him checked. Not sure if it could be biliary, don't think so, but that normally goes with white gums. And, uh, yeah, I'll check him, and make sure he's fine. Well, those right there, those are the hardy dust that I've been speaking about. When they go over and you hear those shouts of them, well, that's who they are. Okay, the dogs are jumping on my back. I'm just looking at them here through. Oh, Kate <laughs> and Arthur is right here. But in any case, I gave this toy to the dogs and they are enjoying it. So the tigers didn't really do much with it. But believe me, these dogs are enjoying it all the way. They will be. Well, I hope it lasts. I can actually see that this has lasted more than 10 other toys that the dogs have gotten in the last few days. But yeah, well, they're going to play with it and have some fun. And yeah, let me go. Get some stuff done. <laughs> It's really quiet this evening and these two boys are enjoying every second. Just look at that. That's the life. Well, I'm going to leave them and they can sleep till morning and they will be really rested. Wow. Good night, Enzo. Good night, Diego. See you tomorrow. Well, that's it. 
thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that and like always have a great day